Hey guys, it's me Angel, and I am here to do a, I don't want to call it a room tour, because I kind of did that already, uh, but I kind of want to just show you some of the regular tech stuff that I use that's on my desk right now. Um, and part of my desk, it is a little messy, but I, I actually need a little more room, because now that I work from home, I, I need more space. But I'm going to try to show you guys as much as I can. And I'm gonna to try to rattle things off of the top off the top of my head, but I don't recall all the specific details of everything that I have here. Uh, but I'll do my best. So, one of the first things I probably want to show you is this monitor. Uh, this is a 27-inch ViewSonic. Um, I don't know the um, model number off the top of my head. Um, it's a couple of years old, um, but it is a HDMI 1080p monitor um, so there's actually inputs in the back of it where it has HDMI it has an HDMI port I think it has two um, and then it has the standard VGA you know and all of those um, so that's actually my screen now the screen went off uh, but on the top there if you guys can see um, that is a Logitech uh, 720p a webcam. It's actually better than the one on the MacBook or even on the Windows PC. So I use usually use that if I'm using the webcam. I'm sorry it's a little hard to see but it's dark and then the, the color of the wall is a little dark. Um, those blinking lights back there, that's the uh, Verizon Fios router. And hidden behind there is a Kensington um, dock but I don't use that anymore because I don't have that kind of connector. Uh, behind that is a Cisco uh, Linksys 4200, and of course it's of course it's blurry right now. As soon as I zoomed in on it, but it's kind of cool. You see how it's lit up? Uh, so it's a Linksys E4200 router, um, and above that I have Altec Lansing speakers. I have obviously there's two of them. There's one there, and there's the other one over here. Um, Next is my MacBook Pro. There's a screen there. So now it's a little brighter. So now we can actually see that this is indeed a MacBook Pro. Um, I could actually show you the specs over here. Um, if I can get a clear shot of it. Yep. It's hard to do this single-handed. I can't use... I can't use a, a mount for this because I'm kind of doing it as a roaming video. So this is running uh, OS 10.8.2 which is uh, Mountain Lion. It's a 2.3 gigahertz Intel Core i5. I, I just recently upgraded to 16 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, it comes with four and I also upgraded the hard drive to one terabyte. Um, I also have, let me come over here for a second. Oops, no, not there. There. <laughs> I actually have a w Western Digital My Passport Studio. And that's a terabyte drive, and it's actually an external drive, so it's connected right into into there. Um, so those are the things on my desk. Um, I use the um, Bluetooth keyboard, and I love it. It actually works great. I don't like this magic mouse. It's far from magical for me. It just constantly disconnects the Bluetooth connection. It's not very fluid at all. Um, half the time I have to go back to the trackpad over here to use, you know, use it properly. So I don't know. I may, I may delete it and reinstall it and see if that'll help. But um, not very happy with that mouse. This is a Jawbone uh, box um, or jam box, as they call it. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it. it. Actually says it right on the top there. But again, it's so dark you can't really see. Um, you might be able to see. So it's called a jam box. And what it is, it's a, it's a Bluetooth keyboard. That yeah, Bluetooth keyboard. It's a Bluetooth speaker and it connects to your phone or anything that's Bluetooth enabled. Um, I actually bought it as a, as a Bluetooth speaker for my iPhone and to use it for music and stuff, but it's not really very loud for music, but it is, it is louder than the stock, um, audio. 
Um, but for conference calls or any kind of phone calls, it's actually very, very loud. So it's almost like it's enhanced for um, uh, audio versus music or movies. But it's still pretty decent, and I actually bought it during um, Black Friday, so it was a significant savings on it. So I'm very happy with that purchase. Um, obviously, under here we have the iPad, and I, I already did an unboxing on the uh, Logitech keyboard. You guys should check that out if you haven't. Um, that Dell laptop, that is actually my work laptop. Um, it's, um, I think it's a Latitude 6520, I want to say. I don't know, it's not very, it's not very old. Um, has an i5 processor, runs Windows 7. Um, I think it has 8 gigs of RAM. And um, I believe it's a 2.5 processor as well. Let's see what else. So there's nothing else on my desk. Um, that's all that's on my desk. Um, so now we come to my laptop. <laughs> Inspiron 17R Special Edition. Now, they have different models. We get all the juicy stats here. It's an i7 2.4 gigahertz, which is turbo boosted up to 3.4 uh, gigahertz. 8 gigs of RAM. 64-bit uh, operating system, obviously Windows 8. Um, we have NVIDIA GeoForce uh, GDDR5 2 gigabyte video card. Um, this is a 17.3 high-def screen, LED screen, mind you. Uh, this comes with Skull Candy speakers and audio. This comes with um, the Blu-ray disk drive and CD, DVD. Um, reader and writer. Uh, obviously comes with a battery. It comes with a one megapixel camera, uh, but it's not high def. And what else do we have? We have obviously a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Um, and that's about it. Um, on the front over here we have, you know, the LEDs. We have a slot for the um, SD cards. Obviously it's Windows. Windows, Intel. Of course, we can't zoom in on that because there we go. It's an i7 processor. Um, I have a, a Logitech mouse connected to it, but I don't like that mouse. It's too small. I actually want to get something a little bigger. Um, on the side, you got your HDMI's. You got some uh, USB 3.0's. You got a uh, video port back there, the power. Notice the plug, it actually lights up. It's kind of cool. Um, and then on this side, um, just two um, USBs and a network connection back behind that. Um, and that's the um, laptop. And the last kind of geeky device is my printer. Um, it's actually a LaserJet Pro 400 color uh, printer, M451DW. I've been using it for about a year and I love this printer. It's a colored laser printer, but I got a really good deal on it, so I purchased it because my uh, old laser printer was just dying. Um, it's all digital display. So, oop, of course, now that I talked about it, it, it decided not to light up for me. Ah, here we go. All right. So, see, it's all digital display on top. Um, gives you the status of the toners and IP address and all that. That's your power button down there. This is where the paper goes. Um, and this is where the toner goes. And it's kind of, a, kind of a cool tray. They just kind of come out and then you can just pull them up. So that's kind of nifty. The thing that I like about this printer is that um, it duplex prints and I, I do print a lot. So I, I do like the ability to print double sided on, on double sided paper and it has a duplexer in it so I can save some paper that way. So I don't actually have it connected to any cable. It's not connected to anything at all. Um, and I, I, I'm able to use it um, on my home and my work computer because it's connected right through the Wi-Fi. So it's actually really cool. Uh, some of the features uh, prints uh, 21 uh, pages per minute black and 21 pages per minute color so it prints about the same on both 
Um, it generally prints slow for most people's likings, um, but I, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm okay with it with printing slow. I don't print thousands of pages at a time, so I don't need it to print quickly. Um, it's a 600 by 600 DPI. Uh, we talked about the LCD screen. Um, I can add trays if I wish. Um, this one is like to do envelopes and stuff in here. This is the main tray, and if I wanted to purchase an additional tray, I can, and it just gets connected right under here. Um, and that's about it. So that's my tech tour. Um, hopefully it wasn't too boring, um, but I know some of you have been asking for it for a while, so I hope you enjoy. Um, let me know if you have any questions on the devices I demonstrated, and I'll be more than happy to share more specific information. Uh, but again, I was doing everything off of the top of my head and some cheat sheet information that I had printed a while ago. Um, but anyway, um, if you guys like the video, then obviously like the video. Um, share, comment, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And um, I'll see you next time.